I came in as a conditional student. Um, I was very insecure. I had a lot of self-esteem issues, incredibly shy. Um, I really didn't do much in high school as far as activities. Uh, just painfully shy almost and, and painfully insecure uh, and didn't really achieve good grades. I, I really struggled. I struggled even with my ACT. So when I came here, I came in as a conditional student because I wanted to go here so bad. Um, I think they, they gave me a shot and I'm not sure what about me told them to give me a shot, but I just remember getting a letter saying I was coming in as a conditional student. And they discovered quickly at the Learning Resource Center here that I was dyslexic. Um, and I spent a lot of my freshman year working on the computer, working with professors, just working with people on um, how to work past it. You know, it wasn't something that I could get rid of. So it was how can I identify how to live with it. Um, and they did a decent job because I ended up winning the Spartan Award and, and pretty much getting straight A's after I could recognize what it was where I was failing and started to believe in myself that I was an intelligent person. I became involved in almost every activity from student government to global to um, student activities to uh, I, almost every committee to get people to volunteer anywhere, any human rights committee. Um, it was kind of insane, but I, I had come out of my shell tenfold. I was working at Hesed House. I had worked with the Ports of the Poor here in America. I felt like to really get an experience to I wanted to know what it was like to work with the poorest of the poor with absolutely no resources. I researched organizations and found one that was called Visions in Action. And what they did was take people who had their graduate degrees and uh, it wasn't necessarily just social work. Um, you interviewed, you had to actually write up several papers um, to prove that you were committed and then they set you up with organizations in Zimbabwe. And I worked for an organization called Childline and it worked with children who were um, abused um, homeless, and, and a lot of them were terminally ill with AIDS and had lost their parents. Um, so I stayed there a year and volunteered and worked with them and then came back. Um, you know, I really believe Aurora University was probably um, my biggest supporter in me getting to Zimbabwe, not only just through the professors when I had talked about it, saying that is an amazing idea. Yes, you should do that. You should pursue that. Um, Janet Janos was a, was a huge factor in, in pushing me to that. Uh, not only that, they would they did some fundraisers. Our seven-year-old, as we were driving into campus, said, "Wow, I want to go here." And we both smiled and we're like, "We hope you do, baby." And we've even like started the college fund and we call it the AU fund, so they can go where they want. <laughs> but we're we're kind of hoping they come here because it was such a great experience for us.